Shalom. How do you honor others in your life that have had a big impact or um, have greatly uh, contributed to your life in a positive way? Uh, I was thinking about this today. Um, I've been reading an awesome book uh, by Bill Johnson, and he talks about honoring, you know, that we were called to honor people. You know, the one of the Ten Commandments is honor thy father and mother, but we're also called to honor other people. And I was actually thinking, um, still on what I was talking about yesterday, about I was thinking about one of my most popular ever, I think it was, I'm sure my most liked Facebook post, and I, it was for sure my most shared Facebook post that I've ever done, was not about me at all. Uh, it was actually a probably the most unflattering photo I've ever put on Facebook of myself. And it wasn't even that flattering of a photo of the person I was talking about. But it wasn't, it was all about this wonderful guy who works here at Sam's in town. He actually has two jobs. He's a hardworking young man. His name is Arsum. He's a friend of mine. But the post was talking about this wonderful display of generosity that he did for me. Um, I was at Sam's and I, I think I people have pointed out like it was a miracle um, that you could get out of there um, with a $36 total. But I'm wondering, I think maybe, I, I know for a fact I left my debit card in my car and I think perhaps I had some cash and so I'd paid for some of it with cash, but I was standing there and I wasn't sure what to do and my daughter was crying and Arson was checking me out and uh, at, at the register, not the way that sounded, um, <laughs> but I was kind of standing there in this conundrum. My littlest was crying in the car because she was like way past her nap and it was time to go and I didn't want to like go all the way out, you know, to the car and get my, whatever, you know, you're in that like, oh gosh, what do I do? Because I mean, I'm shopping and I don't have enough, I don't have enough money. And he jumped around and just stuck his own debit card in and paid for my stuff just out of the goodness of his heart you know no like get me back later nothing he's like here let me get that for you and he had done it before I even had a chance to argue with him and I was absolutely wonderstruck by the fact that he did that by his generosity you know for his willingness to just jump around the counter and do that for a total stranger for no reason for no payback, for no nothing, just out of the kindness of his heart. And it was like $36 and some cents. Um, I'm sure he doesn't make a lot in his job, um, you know, an hourly job. I've had an hourly job where you, you know, so I'm like that after taxes, that's probably like half a day's pay. Like that's a lot of money. I know I had a job where like $36 was like a lot of hours of work, right? So it's like a big sacrifice. It wasn't like, it was just some um, piddly amount. But so I um, I felt terrible about it. And I always looked for him and always said hello when I saw him. I It took me way too long to pay him back in cash. I wrote him a, a lovely card thanking, you know, paid him back with a little interest, but not a lot. But it really stuck with me, just his generosity and what he did. And so I wrote a Facebook post about it. And I took a photo with him and tagged him in it and wrote the Facebook post just commending him for, you know, this this act that he had done. And um, like I said, it got tons of likes and tons of shares. And it because it wasn't about me, all these people wrote all their comments about different things he'd done for them. So all those people that liked it and shared it was because they also had experienced his kindness or his generosity or his just heart and willing to help, right? And so me writing the post was just a small way of giving this person honor of just this one occurrence he and I had had, but all the shares and all the likes and all the comments were because he had also done those things to other people, right? He deserved that honor. Um, and so I was thinking about all this today and about who I would want to give honor to. And there's such a huge list. So I had to like narrow it down. So I was actually thinking of like my high school um, teachers because 
This year, teachers, man, okay, teachers always have a rough job. But this past whole year, I mean, during the pandemic, all these things, like teachers have really been in it. Like really been in it. And so I was just thinking about all the different past teachers I've had that made a huge impact in my life in a positive way. And I doubt that any of them are my Facebook friends. I don't know. I know I know the Bridensteins are. I know Miss Terry Bridenstine is one of my Facebook friends. She was a great teacher and her husband, Mr. Bridenstein, he was like my history teacher and I wanna say like seventh grade. I still remember about how the Egyptians made papyrus from that class. Do I remember what I ate yesterday? No, but do I remember some fun facts from that history class a million years ago? Yes, I do. Um, I had an excellent teacher that taught, I think it was world religions or philosophy. Mr. Frizzell in high school loved that class. I loved that class. He was a great teacher. Mr. Landry taught history. Wonderful. He was a great teacher. Um, one of my English teachers who I cannot think of her name to save my life. She was an AP English teacher, probably my 11th grade year. I want to say her name starts with a W and ends with a house. She had short blonde hair. She was awesome. I'm sure her old name will come to me later. But all my English teachers I always loved. Um, my block class in sophomore year, who was that? Mrs. Rom and uh, Dixie, someone. I should, I, you know what I need to do? I need to write a card to all my different teachers that I loved, right? That would be a great way to honor them, to express thanks for their years of service in, in, in the public school. Um, because they matter. They impacted my life in a positive way. I would encourage all of you to show honor and to show thanks to some teacher that impacted you. Um, I know a teacher that's having a rough time right now and I don't even know his school, but I wish all his students would write him and say what a great impact he had on their lives. I mean, our teachers, their job is huge and is big and there's so many people whose lives are um, better because of good teachers, right? So I just would encourage everybody to honor, honor someone that's had a big impact in your life um, because it matters. It matters to God. Like it matters. So, sorry, I get lost sometimes. Um, there's a lot of scripture verses on honoring. Mm, a lot of them. And I didn't think honoring your father and mother was enough because yeah, because the reality is if you look through the bottle Bible and you look at honor, we're, we're called to do that. I mean, it's not just some like, you should say thank you to your server. You, there's more to it and that, and that God deserves honor and that us giving honor is like also almost even a gift from God to give, if that makes sense. Um, so first Chronicles, I think I'm just, I'm not making any sense right now. So let's just read from the Bible. Cause that's the best part. Anyway, first Chronicles 29, 10, David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly saying, praise be to you. O Lord God of our father, Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Wealth and honor come from you. But we should also extend that honor. We should also show honor to God first, but also to others um, in our life. So, Lord, we just ask you to put it in our hearts um, who we should extend honor to and who we should thank God for and who um, we should reach out to and um, share the blessings that you've give us to others. Just even, I mean, we all need to hear sometimes that, you know, your job matters and 
teachers' jobs hugely matter. So Lord, we just ask you to put some teachers on everybody's hearts and everybody to do the work and reach out. In your name we pray. Amen.